To find the oxidation number on each element here in copper 2 nitrate, that's CuNO3-2, we'll use these general rules here. It's a little bit of a tricky one. So to start out with, we know that the whole thing here is a neutral compound because we don't have a negative or a positive sign after it. So that's good to know because in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. We don't know copper. That's a transition metal. It can have different oxidation states depending on what it's bonded to. The one thing we do know and that you should memorize is nitrate, this NO3 here. This is a polyatomic ion and it has a one minus ionic charge. So with ions, the oxidation numbers must add up to the charge on the ion. So these numbers here have to add up to a minus one. Since we have two of them, we have a minus two here. This has to be a two plus so that we have everything, the whole thing, adding up to zero. So if you can recognize that the nitrate ion minus one, then the copper is pretty simple to find. We have two nitrates, so that'd be two minus. We need a two plus. If you're asked to find the nitrogen, the way to do that is to continue to think of this as just the nitrate ion with the minus one oxidation number for all the elements together. Because oxygen, except in a few situations, that's going to be minus two. So three times minus two, that gives us minus six. So something plus minus six will give us the minus one. Positive five, that should work. So we have minus six plus five, that gives us the minus one. So the oxidation number on the nitrogen is plus five. And oxygen, minus two. So each oxygen here is minus two. So that's it. These are the oxidation numbers for CuNO3-2 copper-2 nitrate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.